welcome back to Celebrity Tarot Readings. I'm Sag Moon Diva. And guys, I have a main channel, of course, the Sag Moon Diva Tarot. If you guys are interested in subscribing to that channel, where I do all 12 signs, wait, all 12 zodiac sign readings, okay? If you guys are interested in that channel. But of course, over here, we do Celebrity Tarot. And I know you guys are ready and anticipating uh, this reading here about Meg Thee Stallion, Tory Lanez, and Kelsey Nicole. Now, Meg Thee Stallion is an Aquarius, Tory Lanez, uh, they say he's a Leo, and Kelsey, I looked it up, they said Kelsey is a Virgo. I believe her birthday is like the 28th of, I think, September. But anyways, um, she's coming up as a Virgo, and I want to see the energy around the three of them, okay? So, I do want to, oof, I bet this is so juicy. <laughs> I just want to know, like, I'm sure everybody else want to know what the heck happened, all right? So, let's see, give me the most important messages that need to come through for Kelsey, Meg, and Tori Lane, please. Kelsey, Meg, and Tory Lanez, okay? So over here on this side is going to be Meg Thee Stallion. Here is going to be Kelsey. And here is going to be Tory. And let's do a overall about the energy surrounding them at this time using this Oracle card. Give me the most important messages that need to come through, please. What are the most important messages? There we go. That's what wants to come through. Oh, you have X. Okay, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. All right, this is definitely um, something having here to do with the breakup. Could be the breakup of a relationship, breakup of a friendship. There have been rumors that uh, Kelsey initially was dating Tori, but Tori also started sleeping with Meg the Stallion, and then it also said the other way around. Uh, it could have been when Meg was dating him, and then Kelsey slept with him. Of course, these are all rumors we don't know the actual facts because you know we're not in their shoes but keep in mind this is a general tarot reading all right this is involved in public figures so um everything here is alleged all right so yeah overall is x all right as a matter of fact let's just sit that right there okay so when it comes to Megan's energy about this whole situation, she is not happy. She hates the fact, okay, she's coming up as the 10 of cups in the reverse. Um, this really hurt her, all right? When it, especially when it came to a friendship. She feels like all of this, she has a lot of rage right now. She feels very combative. Also, she feels like um, they share, meaning Kelsey and Tori, share a difference of opinion when it comes to her. Like she literally considered Kelsey family, okay? She could have also considered Tori like family, who knows how long they may have had a some, some type of a friendship or situationship. But whatever the case may be, somebody in this situation she feels is like family and it really hurt her because she feels like she lost a friendship that she felt was genuine, okay? And it's amazing that she's coming up as the Ten of Cups in the reverse right now as far as her energy, but Kelsey is coming up as the Ten of Coins in the upright okay definitely her energy because she is coming up as a virgo um right now she could be prospering she could be or she could be trying to secure herself financially um her success may have taken a hit because she's no longer associated friend wise with meg so now she has to kind of like work harder when I'm sure for her in the past things were kind of just given to her just because she's in the company of Meg Thee Stallion. I mean, it's, it just goes hand in hand. She also felt like uh, Meg was family to her. All right. She, um, it felt like home. Her relationship with Meg felt like home and oh, I don't know. She felt safe with her at one point, but like I said, she's coming up as that ten of coins and her overall is how I feel like she's putting a lot of her emphasis on family, money, security, what she can uh, attain financially. That's definitely where her energy is. She's all about mo uh, money. Uh, Meg is all about keeping her emotions to herself now. I feel like she's closed a lot of people out of her life. Um, she may be in an energy where she doesn't trust people because at one point, 
Kelsey felt like home to her as well, which is crazy. Um, these two definitely had a strong connection. They may have been uh, soulmates or maybe felt like they were soulmates. Of course, soulmates can be, it doesn't just always mean romantically. It could be that they were friends and they may have felt a strong bond with each other. But because they are coming up, when you add this, this you got 10 and 10 together. So 10, 10, you know, they may have felt like the both of them were uh, strongly connected. Wow, that's crazy. Let me go ahead. Give me one second. I'm going to see if I can pull this card up. If it's here. There it is, right there. I mentioned 1010, all right? And I just pulled from the angel card deck, okay? 1010 uh, signifies patience, all right? Keep your thoughts positive and be patient as everything is working for your highest good. Trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you, all right? So definitely, um, that it, it's going to take patience on both of their ends. Who knows, in the future, these two might rekindle a friendship, I'm just saying, or it may just be that um, this kind of was like that straw that broke the camel's back. But right now, Meg's emotions are not in this. Like she's not looking for friends right now. She's not looking for that type of connection. And of course, there's no, I don't see any emotions right now for Kelsey. Her, she put her emotions in what she's making, basically, is her money. Now, when it comes to Tori, he's coming up as the nine of cups in the upright, okay? So um, he may... Oh, I don't know. This could be future energy or this could be what he's feeling right now. Um, He could be in good health. Right now, he's focusing on his well-being. He's trying to take advantage of the attention that this court case is giving him right now. So for those of you all that are not familiar, I mean, it's basically been trending everywhere since I don't know if this all started last year. But there is a case involving Meg Thee Stallion. Did she actually get shot in her foot or did she get some glass in her foot? Uh, who had the gun? Who was the one that shot XYZ? So this is where this all leads, okay? And again, I do feel like what I'm getting here from this Nine of Cups is that Tori is taking advantage right now of the publicity surrounding this situation because in some way it's helping his career or he's hoping that it's going to help his career or he's looking to stay very positive about the future because he feels like things are going to go in his favor. All right, with that Nine of Cups, he feels like he's almost there. He's almost to the finish line. And what's so crazy is that what comes after the Nine of Cups is the Ten of Cups, okay? So um, when this Nine of Cups is in, when the cards are in the upright, that's basically meaning yes in tarot. And when it's in the reverse, it basically means no. So I'm just going to tell you, from what I'm looking at here, you got two yeses. You got a yes for Tori, a yes for Kelsey Nicole, and then you got a no for Meg Thee Stallion. So in the end, all right, um, of course, I am, I, I'm not a lawyer, I don't work in a court system. This is all alleged. It looks like just from what I'm seeing so far before I get into the rest of the reading, it looks as if Meg Destelia may end up losing in this situation. Or it could just be, you know, losing friends. All right. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and clarify this Ten of Cups. All right. Please clarify this Ten of Cups for me, please. Can you clarify this Ten of Cups? Please clarify for me this ten of coins. Can you clarify this ten of coins for me, please? All right, last one is this nine of cups, okay? Give me the most important messages for the nine of cups. Oh, wow, look at him coming up in his own energy. All right, <clears throat> so clarifying... This Ten of Cups is the lover's card here. This is all about love. It's about uh, romance. It's about, it could also mean partnership. It could, it could also mean a decision between two people. And it could signify marriage, all right? I do believe that for Meg Thee Stallion, uh, she may end up, she might all, I'm going to be honest here. I'm not going to go out on a limb. She might actually already be married to her, her boyfriend. I think his, I don't know his name. I really don't, <laughs> but you guys know he's a popular uh, music producer. Um, if she's not married to him, they may be leading to that stage that could be coming, but she's definitely in love with him. She is feeling harmonious right now. Like it's something about this person that she's with that she feels she can trust. She feels in harmony with him. There's a, there's a, 
this this relationship between the two of them she has a lot of deep feelings for her person this is also coming up as gemini energy as well and she feels like right now she's in the energy of being able to express her emotions um she feels like her sincerity is being tested right now when it comes to this whole court proceeding so ooh. That's crazy. Like I said, I'm seeing a lot more of her information coming out um, as far as love and her relationships. Because I do feel like she's so happy to finally meet somebody because she feels like the people that she met in the past, they weren't reliable. Um, she was so tired of having to deal with separations and the frustration um, and the interference of others. She may have been in relationships where there was always maybe a third party or people that were fickle. And this is not just in love. She feels like what she wants the most is new friends. You know, she doesn't want anybody she want a friend that can be reliable, somebody she can trust. And she definitely sees that with the person she's with. She feels like after all of the bad things, this person is a light in her life right now. So he just may be a really good support system. And that could be why he's coming up so heavy in her energy here. Now you have the judgment card here for Kelsey. Oh. Hmm. There is a judgment card for Kelsey and the King of Wands uh, for Tory Lanez. Y'all, I'm going to be honest. I didn't expect that this was going to come out the way that it did. But I don't know. I keep feeling like these two are going to come out as being vindicated. All right. You got the judgment card here for her. And this is basically... Um, a time to account for your actions. I don't know. Um, <laughs> oh, this is actually freaking me out right now. Things are going to start improving for Kelsey in her life, basically. I, this is why that 1010 came through. She's being patient right now. You all may notice that she's speaking, but she's definitely not speaking a lot. She's not really going to the media or doing anything like that. She's practicing what I mentioned earlier with that 1010. She's practicing patience. All right. She's practicing patience because she knows that she's going to get the type, some type of an outcome from a past effort. All right. And so for her, she feels like the best thing for her to do right now is to sit back. And to forgive. I feel like she's forgiven a wrong that somebody may have done to her. Wow, that's crazy. Because at first, it was kind of like frustrating for her. And she was having a hard time facing the facts. I think that's why she had a hard time facing the fact that she wasn't going to have a friendship with Meg anymore. It was something that was really weighing on her at one time. She felt alienated. She felt like things were maybe taken from her. She felt... Um, I just keep feeling like she had a lot of worry on her end beforehand. But it's basically saying with this judgment card here and this ten of coins, she's going to end up prospering from this situation. I'm telling you, I just, I, I'm saying what I see. And that's what I see. It looks like these two are going to be on the up and up when it comes to this court situation. However, Meg, when it comes to a relationship, hers is going to do good. But when it comes to this I don't know. It's something, y'all. I'm just saying. <laughs> Allegedly. All right. So, like I said, uh, there's a nine of there's a nine of cups with the king of wands for Tory. This, of course, is his energy here. It's saying he's coming up basically as somebody that's very honest, somebody that um, is mature, somebody friendly, somebody that could have um, sympathy. But I feel like for him in his past, he may have overindulged. That could be in the you know like the the. The, the, the night parties and maybe drinking and stuff like that. So I'm not sure. He may have at some point, because I do see this right next to the Nine of Cups, he may have had a problem where he can get a little too tipsy. Not saying he's an alcoholic or anything like that, but I get a strength. That, that with him being in good health, like I mentioned earlier, and focusing on his well-being, I do believe that this situation, he may have had some drinking or something that has to do with drinking affected a situation while they were all out together. And now it looks like he's trying to become more mature because in the past he may have been a little bit more immature, could have been a little bit of a player. So when it comes to the whole player thing, and then we have lover's card over here having to do with making a decision between two people. I'm just going to tell you, I believe in the past, allegedly with this King of Wands, I feel like in the past, 
he was thinking more so with his wand instead of with his head. And there is a strong possibility that he was sleeping with the two of them at the same time. Allegedly. I'm just saying. I feel like this is <laughs> this could be what caused the drama. Give me more messages, please. What need to come through for Tori, Kelsey, and Meg? What needs to come through? Yeah. Yeah. See, listen, you got self-pleasure, you have fetish, and you have dirty talk. Yes, baby. There could have, who knows? This may have been, this may have been a threesome going wrong, allegedly. Okay, because we got fetish here, we got dirty talk. Somebody was definitely whispering in somebody's ear. Somebody uh, definitely was thinking about the other person in a sexual manner, wanting to get with them. Fetish could also indicate through some energy. Uh, maybe they joked about it at some point, uh, or they didn't, you know, perceive it that way. But I do feel like there was something that came between them. I do believe this. Mm -hmm. I do believe this. Somebody in this situation is keeping tabs on the other person. Somebody is, is, is on the low keeping tabs on another person, seeing what is going on. You also have here, hold my spot. I, I just get an energy of somebody... That was they ended up biting off more than they could chew. You have here, are you looking for my replacement? That could have been an energy where Kelsey may have started to wonder if uh Tori may have been involved with somebody else. Wow, I just got an energy of threatened by your hustle. I plan on proposing. I mentioned earlier, Meg has um issues when it comes to relationships people being unreliable xyz i do feel that she's running to people that were threatened by her hustle and in the past this is kind of like where she's had issues when it comes to relationships but i do feel strongly that she's going to end up getting engaged uh if she hasn't already she's going to end up getting married to her producer boyfriend i just that just keeps coming through very heavy yeah but i do get a sense that someone was attracted to the other person and they started flirting with each other there was dirty talk there was things that they were talking about that they wanted to do and next thing you know this is i feel the energy of this is what caused a rift between the two people Yeah, what did I tell you? I feel like somebody in this situation is going through a spiritual lesson. Somebody's going through a spiritual lesson in this situation. The first thing I pointed out was that 1010. Somebody could be going through a spiritual lesson. I don't know if I feel, I don't know if it feels like it's one or if it's all three. Because I do feel that Tori cut something out. He cut out some type of vice, and I do believe he cut out drinking. I feel like for, um, there's something here that Kelsey needs to repent from and forgive herself for. And also over here, there is, there is a, I don't know, something about Meg and trusting people too much. Trusting people too much could be possible codependency issues that have to do with her. Yeah. What did, oh, come on now. Like I said, spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. I'm telling you, there is somebody here that is being taught a lesson. I feel like it's Kelsey because she does have the judgment card here. She had to learn something from this situation. Maybe be careful who you trust. Maybe everybody isn't your friend. Who knows? There's definitely something I feel she needs to learn. And it has interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. I'm telling you, one of these women was involved with this man and then that other person joined in on the relationship or situationship all right you have here working less will strengthen your relationship put away the computer all right it could be 
Uh, it could be any one of them. If they're dating anybody, they may uh, overwork themselves, may need to take a break and focus more on the relationship. And then you also have second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. I mentioned earlier that uh, Meg and Kelsey have 10, have tens as their main cards, which could be a sign that with time, the two of them may be able to uh, mend their friendship after this whole court proceeding thing has, you know, basically come to a close. All right. So something definitely could happen there. And um, of course, we had this card here earlier where it was the axe card about somebody giving somebody the silent treatment or somebody feeling abandoned. But what's sticking out to me the most is stop the pattern. I'm telling you, there is something here and it keeps coming back to Kelsey. She may have a tendency to date men that always have her involved in third party situations. So she's needing to break a pattern of trusting people too easily. Maybe having intercourse too quickly in a relationship, moving too fast in a relationship, but she definitely needs to take care of herself. She may be taking care of herself now in this silence that she could be in at this time. It says clear your energy and focus on yourself before acting. I do believe that these two there's a strong possibility of having this friendship come back together because they feel like soulmates and they feel as if their relationship is going, um, it, it, they're going to realize that they feel like their friendship needs to heal. They can heal and learn from it. What did I tell you? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. I'm willing to bet any money, okay? <laughs> That these two are going to bring this 10 of cups and this 10 of coins back together. Because before all of this drama happened, these two had a, what they may have perceived as a perfect relationship, perfect friendship. And I feel like Meg is upset because she allowed a guy to come between them. And a guy who was temporary, Okay. I feel like there's a temporary energy here. It could have just been fixed. Because see, what I'm getting here is self-pleasure, fetish, and dirty, dirty talk. This is somebody that was acting on just hormones. Somebody in this situation was acting on hormones, okay? So let me go ahead and pull a little tarot. That's crazy, yeah. If y'all are liking this video so far, please go ahead. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video uh, as much as you can. Share, share, share. I would appreciate it. <laughs> Once again, we are going to do it where I put each card for each person. First card for Meg Thee Stallion is Empress. Kelsey has the Knight of Wands in the reverse. I'm telling you. Wow. Kelsey has the Knight of Wands in the reverse. And Tori Lanes has the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Okay. So <clears throat> with the Empress card, this is, I'm telling you, I'm telling you Meg is going to end up married. She could possibly end up married with a child. Um, this could also mean the birth of something new, a new album, or a new point in her success could be something, something that she's working on. She's becoming more stable. She's becoming more grounded. I do feel like her person, her um, her boyfriend is a good influence on her. Uh, there's going to be a lot of abundance for her. Uh, she's going to be reaping some type of rewards. And when it comes to Kelsey, um, There, there is something here that's speaking to somebody. I, I, I keep mentioning in, there's some type of interruption or delayed message or impulsive energy here. You got the Knight of Wands in the reverse. See that impulsive energy. I do feel like she's going to wake up to the fact that, um, oh, jealousy. Jealousy may have played a role. I'm telling you, I feel something keeps telling me that she was the one that had the actual relationship with Tori and then Meg allegedly slept with him. And because of this, she lost it. I feel like she lost it along with that justice card. I'm like, what in the world? Yeah. Oh, let me clarify that. Please clarify that Knight of Wands, please. 
Please clarify that Knight of Wands. Wow. Look at that. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Selfish and one-sided energy. I do believe that she did something. I just keep getting an energy that she did something in impulse. Without thinking. Something impulsive, something that was hasty. Uh, could be something as a result of an addiction. All right, it could be addiction to another person, addiction to a mindset, addiction to a substance, allegedly. There's something here that she's done um, impulsively. She's done something impulsively. All right, please clarify this Empress for Meg Thee Stallion, please. Can you clarify the Empress for Meg Thee Stallion? King of Cups in the upright. All right, strength and balance, knowledge. I'm telling you, she is being... I do feel like she's she's having the strength to control her emotions now because at first she wasn't her emotions just weren't coming through i do believe again once again i feel like this person that's in her life her boyfriend is a good influence on her he's keeping her balance right now he's giving her strength as she goes through this situation here He's, he's, even though he may come off as somebody very masculine, very tough, he, he, she needs his strong balance. He's emotional without being overly emotional. A king of cups has their emotions in check, but they do have emotions. So it's sort of like he's bringing her, he literally is supporting her along the way. She's, I feel like she knows that she's blessed and he's blessed as well to have that relationship. Their relationship is coming out a lot in his reading. If you guys want me to do a reading for Meg Thee Stallion and her boyfriend, uh, comment that below. But yeah, he's coming out a lot. Like he, when I tell you, oh baby, anything she goes through, he is right there. Like, no, 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 no. Let me get in the way. Cause see, you're not going to tell me about my girl. <laughs> he's going to ride for her no matter what. He may have a lot of, um, he may have a lot of water in his chart, something very dominant, maybe a Pisces, Venus, or a Scorpio moon or rising. But uh, I do believe he is a Capricorn, if I'm not mistaken. But I do know there is definitely a lot of water somewhere in his chart uh, or very prominent position in his chart because he is he's very protective of her and he balances her out. So I do believe he's going to help her through whatever happens, whether this case goes in her favor or whether it don't go in her favor. Um, I do, however, I keep going back to the energy that Kelsey did something impulsive due to jealousy. Also here with this Wheel of Fortune is Tory Lanez. And it's like this cycle is finally closing out. Um, it speaks of there being a destiny, there being karma. There's been a new opportunity here. There's going to be a change that's going to take place in his life. And I feel like it's going to be in his good favor. It's something about good luck. Something's going to happen that's going to change him for the better. So whether that's a yes when it comes to him getting off in, in this situation or he's just basically learned a lesson in how he learned a lesson about growing up and being mature and taking accountability for your own actions. Okay. Basically is what I'm getting here. This is a crazy situation. That's even with the cards, something still feels off here between this, this dynamic. I hope that you guys can kind of like understand, excuse me, shaking my camera, but hopefully you guys can kind of understand this situation. There's some type of unexpected event or some type of advancement that's going to happen with Tori. But it's, it's something that's going to bring him fortune. I don't know what it is, but something's going to bring him fortune. Like I said before, I'm getting yes for Tori and I'm getting no for Meg. Um, I got a yes for Kelsey as well. It's sort of like she may have to pay. But if she doesn't have, and I'm speaking about Kelsey, meaning that she may have to pay because, of course, she may have been the one allegedly that had the, the gun on her, but she's not going to have to do as much time or do maybe like community service or something like that. She's going to have to repent for it. 
but it's not going to be as bad. I do feel that if that's the case, that it turns out Kelsey was the one to do it and that Tori gets off, I do believe here with this no coming up, I feel that with uh, Meg the Stallion, she's going to be hit by it at first because it's sort of like there is a kind of like a witch hunt for her where people want her to be wrong in this situation so i feel that any little thing that gives him that gives tori a celebration is going to kind of work against her for a minute but she'll bounce back trust me she will bounce back if she loses that case or if it shows that she didn't get shot by tori instead she was attacked by kelsey i feel like eventually she'll bounce back from it hmm Ooh, I like that. All right, so let me see. Um, let me go ahead and pull some cards here. All right, because I do want to see their situation. I don't know. Like I said, one person could have had a relationship or thought they were in a relationship while the other one was playing on the side with the other person is what I'm getting. Please give me the most detailed and accurate messages. For <laughs> I keep forgetting her name. For Kelsey, oh, that's too many. That's too many. We're going to mix it all up again. All right. Please give me the most detailed and accurate messages that need to come through for Kelsey, Meg the Stallion, and Tory Lanez, please. You have goodbye. You have early 20s. Somebody in this situation could be in their early 20s. Somebody in this situation could have a medium build. You have curious. I do feel somebody was curious about the other person. And this is how this situation turned into a mess. All right. You also have pride. Somebody in this situation has too much pride to apologize. Yeah, you have hidden intentions. Somebody in this situation has some type of hidden intentions, all right? Ooh. Wondering if I'll ever see you again. I do feel that these two mourn their relationship, but because of everything that is going on right now between Kelsey and Meg, uh, it's too much right now to be rebuilt. Wow, you have consequences for their actions. All right, somebody's definitely going to get consequences for their actions. We did have the judgment card in Kelsey's energy, okay? So I just keep feeling like there's a strong possibility that Kelsey, um, in the midst of her anger, jealousy, she allegedly was the one that maybe pulled the gun. There's a possibility that Tori may have tried to stop it. And this is where we are, okay? I'm just saying. All right, let's pull a few more cards. You have blockage, okay? Yeah, I definitely feel like there's a block communication. Nobody's speaking to the other, of course, for um, court purposes, you know, to keep, you know, everything separate. You have, you put it on me. Ooh, I just got, you put it on me. Somebody feels like the other person put the situation on them. Like, you put this on me or you put... You put the weapon on me. Whoa. Somebody feels like the other person put this situation on them. You have I'll be worth the wait. And you have my heart. Hmm. Somebody still has feelings for the other person in this situation. Wow. It seems like the more cards I pull, the more confusing it gets. All right, give me more messages. Give me more messages in regards to Kelsey, Meg, and Tory Lanez, please. What? <laughs> you have please me, baby. <laughs> what? You have erectile dysfunction. What the heck? Somebody could be dealing with some erectile dysfunctions right now. I feel it. Oh, oh my 
my God. Oh my God. Okay. I feel it coming as the card that came through. All right. Let me tell you something. This, didn't I mention earlier, this may have been a menage a trois gone wrong. Okay. This might have been a menage a trois gone wrong. I don't, mm, I don't know. Something, something ain't clean in the buttermilk. That's why everybody seems so confused. We're all wondering what is going on. This sounds like a menage a trois. Hmm. And you have a few extra pounds, okay? Somebody may have a little meat on their bones. But um, that menage a trois is sticking out. I'm telling you, this, this is a strong indication that this was this was a, a menage a trois going wrong. I'm going to do some final messages and I'm going to be out. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear of the ego issues. Boom. Look what sticks out again. You have jealousy. I'm telling you, this could have been menage a trois. Usually when that comes out of my readings, it means that there was a third party interference or there was a third person. Like, you know, all three of you all were having sex together. So one of the two happened in this situation because I just got another confirmation of that. I'm going to go ahead clean this area up and then I'm going to do my final um, fortune cards to see their energy moving forward. Mm. I don't know what to say. Tori, did you have a threesome with these women and got them caught up because you had a little fetish or you wanted to live out your little fantasy? <laughs> I'm just saying. Something ain't clean in the buttermilk. All right, let's see. All right, so we're going to do the final fortunes for all three in this situation. All right, we can go in any order. I'm just going to read it out. Give me the final messages for this menage a trois. <laughs> Give me the final messages for Kelsey, Meg, and Tori, please. You have, you are too good for your own good. Your predictions will have and will always be true. Don't give so much advice. It causes hard feelings. Hmm, that's some drama, drama, drama. All right, <clears throat> you have a yes. And you also have no. Well, guys, if you all enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And again, share, share, share this video as much as you can. Check out my main channel, Sagmon Diva Tarot. And until then, guys, I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.